Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have a stove top. I removed the grates and the burner caps, but I want to show you how grody this stove top is. Now, getting a little light on the subject, you can see just how tough this caked on residue is. It's just, I guess, a bunch of baked on grease, taking a little kitchen scraper. You can't even get this stuff off. But getting this stuff off is exactly what we're going to do today and I will show you how next. And after watching this video, if you liked what you saw, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and maybe even consider subscribing to my channel. I have a bunch of new videos coming up in the future. So if your stovetop looks anything like this, you've probably already tried a whole bunch of ways to get this off from just plain soap and water, scrubbing it, uh, purchasing stovetop cleaners, uh, ammonia, hydrogen peroxide and baking soda, salt and baking soda, lime and or lemon and baking soda, all these different methods to get this off. And if you're watching this video, you're probably going, I give up. I'm going to sandblast this thing or use some sandpaper. Well, before you do that, I want you to try this one technique which should get this stuff off. Okay, so are you ready for the magic bullet? It's a razor blade. Now a razor blade is probably a little extreme, but it will, in most cases, get this grime off your stovetop if you're careful. Now there's a couple of caveats. You want to make sure that your stovetop, other than all this grime, is in good shape. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth, that this, it's not rusty or there's not already paint being removed, because this razor blade will just scrape off paint. Also, you want to be very careful because a razor blade, if you start at wrong angles and not careful, you could cause scratches and remove paint off your stovetop. And I don't want you later writing comments on the bottom of my channel saying, Hey Geo, I did what you said and I ruined my stovetop. Well, you have to be careful and so that's the warning using a, a razor blade. Now this one's a standard razor blade that you can get in the hardware store to help uh, just do some general purpose scraping or uh, scraping paint off a window. If you don't have one of these, uh, these are pretty cheap, but if you don't have one of those, you can just, uh, if you have a box cutter, you can just open up a box cutter and grab one of these. Now you have to be careful, don't cut yourself. It's better to have a little bit of a gripper, but you can use these to, uh, uh, if, you're, if you're careful, to kind of scrape off this residue. And so we'll show you how it's done. So I hope you could see this. Now I'm just taking, you want a nice, pretty new, sharp razor blade. You don't want the razor blade all rusty also. And when you uh, put it down, you want to put it down flat. Uh, you don't want to put it in an angle or that will cut and scratch your, your stovetop surface. So keep it flat and go very slowly. And I recommend, don't go kind of head on, just like that. Uh, you want to kind of do it on a side and just scrape it nice and slowly like that applying an even pressure over the razor blade don't don't put too much pressure on one side and you just want to do it a little at a time and you'll be fully satisfied with the results but just be careful bit at a time it is coming off. Now you, the first pass you might not get it all off. You can see there's a little bit of residue here but just make sure that your razor blade stays clean and then go over it and it should eventually scrape off. Now you're gonna you're gonna find that there's kind of a sweet angle to your application. If you're too steep, you might start cutting into your uh, stovetop. If you're too flat, you're not going to get an adequate cut. So you're going to have to feel um, just by practice what a good angle is and you'll kind of find a nice little sweet spot to your scraping. Now as you can see around the burner part of the stove 
there's a little bit of a rise. And so you want to be especially careful in these areas. You don't want to go sideways against this because this will be flat and you could start cutting into this little rised area. So you want to stay um, generally parallel. You want the uh, blade parallel as much as possible to the rise. Now this corner here is a bit of a problem since you can't really get into a good angle. So you're just going to have to be very careful at corners so you don't scratch your paint. Okay, so with this corner, uh, because I can't really get it flat, I'm having to kind of use the uh, edge of the scraper. And I'm just doing it very lightly and watching what I'm doing because you can see I'm basically the point of the scraper is against the stove top and there is a potential I could scratch it so I'm just being very very cautious and slow and there you go the end result and I was fortunate I didn't scratch the stove top at all but I was very careful and so if you're gonna use this razor blade technique just be really careful make sure that uh, again, your stovetop isn't already rusty and peeling paint, uh, so it won't damage it anymore. And there's all the residue. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. And please consider subscribing. I'm going to have some upcoming videos. I always try to keep this channel fresh with new content. So please visit me again, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.